I think the question today is how many times can we go to the store? All right, guys, it's a hot one today. I'm baking like a toasted cheeser. It's so hot here. So I thought this would be a perfect excuse to stay in the shade, stay in my garage, and just get some work done. Today, we are going to service the Toro. It needs some much needed love. It has never had its blade sharpened and it has never had an oil change. So we're gonna do both of those things today. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. I'm gonna show you the tools that you need to go ahead and get this done on your machine and just how quick and easy you can get this done in just one day. Now, making sure that you have a sharp blade is important. If you're looking at your lawn and it has like a brown kind of haze over it, your blade is not sharp enough. It's ripping the grass and it's leaving you that brown haze. So in order to fix that, we're gonna sharpen our blade today. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna slice through that grass super quick, super easy. It's gonna leave you with a nice, crisp, clean cut. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure if you have a gas powered mower, you're gonna remove the spark. Because the last thing you wanna do is be messing with that blade and have it just auto kick on for you. So what you're gonna need is something that's gonna brace and keep the blade from moving. So we're gonna use this stick of wood here place this right up in there you can get the blade right up against it you take your wrench you just gotta kind of step on this here so it holds it there in place you just get push against it and it should come loose if you have a newer mower you've never taken this off this can be really tight boom and we're off <laughs> all right guys as you can see there's some pretty good nicks right up in this blade i don't know if it's easy to tell there but there's some good nicks here right up in there's a good one Another one's here, it's really good nick. So these things are gonna cause imperfections in your cuts. And so we're gonna grind these out today and really get this fixed up and nice and sharp. I don't got a vice, so we're just gonna use this cinder block that I had laying around. I also have an amazing neighbor who has some great tools. So I borrowed this, angle grinder, Milwaukee. All you wanna do is glide your grinder right across the already created blade just staying with that angle, making sure that it stays good. So we're just gonna take off a little bit of metal here and there. As you can see, it's looking, looking pretty good already. Turn it over and get the back side. Get that extra burr off. Yo, this thing, this is sharp. Woo, look at that. That is hard to see. There's still some nicks in there and you can't, you're not gonna be able to get all those hard nicks out, but this is sharp. This is gonna slice through this grass like butter. So both these sides are now done. We're gonna go ahead and test to make sure that it's still even. Let me show you guys what you need here. What you need here is this little blade balancer. Put this, you put the blade right on top here, and it tells you if you took too much off one side or too much off another. You can kind of go ahead and fix it after that, but we're gonna go ahead and drop it on here, see what happens. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Nice and balanced, look at her spin. <laughs> we're balanced, we're balanced. All right guys, so now that we have our balance off, we're gonna go ahead and get the blade back on there. What you do need for this part is a torque wrench. Again, got an awesome neighbor. He had one on hand. I went ahead and borrowed it from him. So here we are at Harbor Freight because I don't have the right size for this. So we're gonna go in and grab one. Be back in a second. All right, guys, we got the goods. Let's get back to the house. You guys are back home. We're gonna clean off the deck because that looks gross and we don't want that. We're gonna clean this all the way up. But let's get to that first. And just like that, looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but much better. Let's go ahead and get the blade back on the mower. So same concept of how you took it off. We're gonna put a piece of, wood, a piece of wood down there after we get the blade on, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Uh, the Toro needs uh, 60 foot pounds of force on the torque. So we're gonna, we said it already, this 60 foot pounds. We're gonna go ahead and get on there, give it a couple good turns, and we're gonna go. Grab our dowel. First, we're gonna tighten it with the regular socket. Then we're gonna take our nice torque wrench. Once you hear that click, you're good to go. It's nice and tight in there. It's not going anywhere. So 
sure you get this torque wrench. Otherwise, you're gonna end up being too loose and you have a problem later on. Problem you ain't gonna wanna have. You're gonna be missing some feet. All right, guys. Now that we got a nice sharp blade back on the mower, nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and change the oil because I have not changed the oil since I've gotten this machine. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done right now. This mower is actually marketed as never change the oil. I'm not buying that because honestly, I want this mower to last a good while. And I think giving it some tender loving care, changing the oil is gonna help that out. So we're gonna go ahead and change the oil today. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to do that. Okay, so all you need to change the oil on your machine quickly and easily at home, you need a shop vac, a mason jar that you stole from your wife, a modified water bottle cut in half, and some plastic tubing. I'm gonna show you how to put it all together so we can go ahead and get the oil out of this machine. So first thing you need to do is drill two holes into the top of this lid here. So we're gonna do that first. Next, you're gonna drill a hole into the cap of your water bottle. What you do is you're gonna take your bottle, you need to cut it in half. Because you use this half here as a suction to basically pull out all the oil from your machine. Okay, and then we're gonna cut this tubing in half. Boom. You don't have to use the whole thing, honestly. You can just use half of this. So you put one end of the tube into your water bottle, one end of your tube is gonna go into your mason jar top that you cut a hole into. The other tube is gonna go into the other hole in the mason jar top. What you've now effectively done is created a vacuum in here. And the vacuum, once you turn on here, it's gonna start sucking air out of here. It's gonna suck the air from here into your mower. It's gonna pull all that oil right into here. Nice, clean, easy way to remove the oil from your mower. We're gonna stick the tubing in, connect this end to our shop vac, just like this. We're gonna turn it on. All right guys, so we need oil for our lawnmower, so we're gonna head to the store real quick and grab some of that. All right, we got the stuff, let's head back home. Okay, now let's just put some oil in. And I think we're good now, so. All right guys, so super quick, super easy to change your oil, so fast. You can't tell me though that this stuff here is still good for your mower. I'm not buying it. You need to change your oil out at least once a year. All right, so do not let this stay in your in your tank. It's not gonna be good for your mower in the long term. Guys, right, so there's like no brown there. It's really nice thing. You can look at all the clippings here. Look at that. Super clean cuts. So nice new blade, no ripping, nice cutting. Overall, guys, much better look. All right, guys, so overall, man, it is so freaking hot. This pop isn't working, Benny. God, <laughs> can't breathe. Sharpen your blades, change your oil, give your mower all the love that it needs, man. Because if you give that mower love, it's gonna last you for years. You have great cuts. Other than that, guys, I got nothing else for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one.